there's a really cool feature that I feel is overlooked in most Alpine DSPs, and it's called Mix Source. So what exactly is Mix Source? Let's roll that intro and then we'll find out. How's it going, everyone? I'm Dan with Alpine, and today we're talking about Mix Source. Uh, so what is it? Uh, in a nutshell, it is a way of the DSP auto switching sources just by signal sensing which is a really, really useful feature that I think a lot of people are not utilizing. Uh, so the way it works is you select a main source like you normally would when you set up a DSP, and then uh, you have a secondary source, which we call a mix source. And whenever any signal is sensed on that input, it will automatically switch to it. And whenever that signal goes away, it'll switch back to the main source. So let's, uh, let's fire up the software and let's uh, dive a little deeper into how this works and uh, we'll give you some kind of scenarios and a demo as well. All right, so we have the uh, Optum 8 uh, here. Uh, I have it fired up and set up kind of on a bench next, uh, next to me here with an aftermarket head units uh, as like our main source. And then I'm gonna be using my phone as a, as a, a secondary source on the Bluetooth input. So um, when you fire up the software, first thing you'll see is this whole middle part of the screen right here. You have main source selection and then you have mix source selection. And this is what you're going to, what we're going to be playing with today. Now, before we get into this, uh, as far as what DSPs feature this option, it's actually a lot of them. So right off the bat, the PXE C80-88, which is the Optimate, as well as the C60, which is the Optum 6 that has the exact same feature. You can also find this on the HDP D90, which is the status DSP. Uh, this also is on the PXE X121 12 EV, which is our new uh, EV kind of oriented, but also you can put it in anything uh, DSP. If you guys want a little deeper dive into that product, uh, we'll put a link down in the description below. Uh, we're actually giving an overview on that DSP. The PXE 0850X, that one is uh, uh, also has a feature in it, as well as the X09. Uh, for those of you that uh, still have those DSPs, this feature is actually in those as well. So how does this work? Well, like I said before, when you have the main source selected, in this case, we're using AUX, which will be the low level inputs. Um, what, that is just what's always gonna be on. So whenever that DSP is on and fired up, that's what you'll use. And in this case, we have Bluetooth set as our secondary, okay? Now, you're gonna have a couple of sliders over here, and I'm gonna explain what these are. So, the main source attenuation. That means how much do you want the main source to mute whenever the mix source is playing? So, if we're playing Bluetooth, and I want the main source to completely mute, I don't wanna hear it at all, then we wanna mute it 100%. If you are maybe mixing in like a NAF prompt or something like that, and you just want and you don't mind the music like being like a background music, you can lower it down to whatever percentage you want. You can do 20%, 25, 50, whatever you're comfortable with, okay? And um, and as you can see, you can make any source your main and then any other source your mix, okay? Including off, if you're not gonna use any other sources, you can just leave that off and it will just only play the main no matter what. And then, of course, interruption time. This is how long it will take for the DSP to switch back to the main source once the mix source is not playing sound anymore. So in this case, it'll be just one second. If you feel like you need a little more time, you can up that all the way to 10 seconds. So most of the time, I find one to maybe three at the most seconds works really well. So just kind of play around with it and see what works best in your scenario, okay? Let's talk about scenarios. When would you use this? Well. Uh, I get a lot of calls from people that want to switch sources on the controller that comes with the Optum. And with the new firmware, you actually can't switch sources anymore. And that's going to apply to people that are maybe using the Bluetooth input and using like high level input on a factory source. But to get the best kind of quality, best fidelity, they're finding that a lot of people want to just stream directly to the DSP, which is great. It actually sounds fantastic when you do that. Um, but they want to switch sources to listen to the factory radio and so they can still have, you know, radio, hands recalling, uh, car play, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but uh, with this, you don't need to do that. So it'll just do it automatically. So you don't even have to have the controller out. Now, 
you would have to still adjust volume and everything, so it just depends on what you're playing, um, like and how you want to interact with it. But this actually makes it a lot more of a seamless process and a lot easier to use. So, a little bit, I'll give you guys a little bit of a demo, and then we'll kind of talk about some other scenarios of what you can do with this. So, I'm going to hit play on my head unit over here, and we're just playing some royalty free music from the YouTube audio library, so we shouldn't have any copyright strikes or anything. Okay, so, and I'm gonna, so let's just say that's playing in the background, and then whenever on my phone, I want to listen to something, I just hit play, and as you can see, it just instantly takes over. It's very, very, very fast at taking over. And then once I stop playing this, in about a second, it will resume back. So I hit stop, and there, there's our factory source again. Okay, so pretty cool now let's uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop here another uh, scenario let's say you're messing with a newer vehicle that you ran high level in uh, and they're really in the, and you really want to just use the Bluetooth all the time but you're not gonna have hands-free calling it's just gonna be from music streaming right so but you still want to use hands-free from the factory system or maybe navigation prompts from CarPlay or Android Auto you want to still hear those this is what I would do. I would set Bluetooth as your main source. So first we have to, you can only select one at a time. So I'm gonna hit off on mix. We'll select Bluetooth on main. And then for our demo, I have aux, but you would use high level in this scenario. And I'm gonna make it this direction. So now me playing Bluetooth is gonna be the main source. And, when I, and you just leave the factory volume turned down on the head unit, on the factory head unit. So whenever you get a call, that will just automatically play and it'll interrupt. Or whenever uh, NAF prompts, anything like that, they'll, they'll just pop right through. And that's also when you can use the main source attenuation. You can actually maybe turn it down if you want to. It's up to you. So uh, I'm going to go backwards just because of how I have everything set up here to demo it. But the way that this would end up working is like this. So I have... You know, the music's playing, let's just assume this is playing off of a phone. And then you, when you get a call, like through, through your Bluetooth in your factory head unit, it'll just instantly take over. And then whenever you end the call, you're back to listening to your music. So, uh, pretty cool feature. Uh, like I said, this, also, this works on any input, so you can have like some kind of digital audio player that has the digital coax output uh, like the HDS 990 for example you can actually connect that to the coaxial input uh, here and actually have a high res source directly into the DSP and when you just turn the volume up on that unit it will just automatically take over and the source and play and it sounds awesome and then when you're don't want to listen to it anymore it'll just go back to your main source uh, so a lot of very versatile, lots of options you can do here. Um, get creative with it by all means. And uh, that's all I have for you today, guys. Real short video. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, please let us know. And thanks for watching.